The almighty Zeus has cast his lightning bolt at my desk. As the dust cleared, all that remained was... An RGB gaming mouse? This is the Gambius Zeus P1 RGB gaming mouse. At $50 on Amazon, this mouse is competing with many of the big dogs for gaming mice. Is the Zeus up for the task? They advertise 8 programmable keys, but this includes the left, right, and middle mouse clicks, so keep that in mind. The mouse features a matte coating on the main part of the mouse with some textured, rubbery gripping on the sides that I very much appreciate. The mouse feet glide just fine on my Myonix desk mat. I do want to point out that this is a very light mouse. I know a lot of people prefer this, especially for competitive games. I've seen lots of complaints about heavy mice on my reviews in the past, but this one is just too light for me. I need some weight to keep my big hands in place. This translates to the left and right mouse switches too. I usually like to have both my middle finger and some of my ring finger on the right mouse button, and this leads to a lot of accidental clicks with this mouse. Those of you who prefer lighter mice for speed will love it though. In the center of the mouse, there are three programmable buttons that I hate on every gaming mouse. DPI up, DPI down, and DPI cycle. I am someone who likes to sit at a single DPI and not change from it. You know, muscle memory and everything any first person shooter tips video would teach you. So why gaming mice insist on having three different buttons to change the DPI and screw with I, what I expect from the mouse is beyond me. Thankfully, I can just disable these in their software. Speaking of software, I wanted to give Gambius kudos. They offer a portable version of their Hera configuration program. This means those without admin privileges can still use it, and reviewers like me can test it without adding more installation mess to our system. In the Hera software, you can reprogram the buttons, create macros, change DPI and polling rate, add timers for specific macros, and adjust the RGB settings. Oh yeah, and there's lots of RGB lighting in this mouse. A ring around the top part of the mouse, the Gambia's logo, and a ring around the bottom, as well as a little light leakage within the cracks and seams of the mouse. It's flashy, but kind of cool to be honest. Oh yeah, and the USB cable is braided, but very rigid and maintains its shape no matter what, which bugs me. They give you a lot of control over this mouse. Oh yeah, and there's back and forward buttons on the left side. They are perfectly sized, easy to use, and not prone to accidental clicks. This is hard to pull off, so many points for that. Using it feels pretty good too. The default lowest DPI out of the box is 1600. That's essentially the max DPI I would ever go these days. I got myself working down towards 1000 for Overwatch. So I set up my own DPI levels and disabled the change buttons. In games, the mouse feels very accurate and responsive. I'm not a super pro or anything, though I have been playing PC shooters for like 15 years or something now, but it feels pretty fine to me. Quake, Overwatch, CSGO, and normal desktop use, it all felt accurate and as I would expect from a mouse. It's ergonomically pretty comfortable and I just love the gripping on the side. I just wish this mouse was a little heavier and the right mouse click had a little bit more resistance. But on the whole, I am very satisfied with what I honestly expected to be a pretty cheap gaming mouse. If you're looking to pick up a $50 gaming mouse and $50 is your absolute limit, I'd feel comfortable recommending the Gambius Zeus P1 RGB to buy. If you go that route, consider buying it with one of my affiliate links in the video description. Otherwise, smash the like button if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, I'm Vox, and I will see you in the next video.